Lima, the capital of Peru, is a city that is overlooking the Pacific. That sounds wonderful, but due to weather circumstances, it's very hazy during a big part of the year. Perhaps that's why the people call out their houses so wonderful. From the largest villa to the smallest squatter, they're all painted in a cheerful color. The history of Peru and Lima is going far back. First there were the Indians, the Incas and then the Spanish. And these Spanish colonists left a lot of wonderful architecture in the city. In colonial Lima, you will find many beautiful buildings around Plaza Mayor. Palacio de Gobierno, the presidential palace for example, where you can watch the change of the guards. But there are many more nice buildings around Plaza Mayor. A very special place is the Monastery of San Francisco, a very good example of Spanish neoclassicism. In the catacombs below this monastery is an ossuary, a place where they buried their deceased. There are bones of tens of thousands of people and you can still visit them. A little bit sinister, but very impressive. For more peaceful history, you can go outside Lima to Pachacamac, an archaeological site 20 kilometers south of Lima. You will see ruins of several pyramids and the oldest one dates from the beginning of our era. It was said you will get good energy from these temples. Lima doesn't have a real center. It consists of several neighborhoods and transportation is best done by taxi. They are cheap, easy and mostly reliable. One of the neighborhoods you should go to is Barranco. It is a romantic bohemian place full of traditions. There are many restaurants and bars located around Puento de los Suspiros, the Bridge of Sighs. The Miraflores district is known for its shopping areas, gardens, parks and beaches. And that's wonderful if it's not hazy. But shopping is always good and a nice place for tourists is of course an Inca market. Here you will find all your souvenirs, made of llama, guinea pig and other local specialties. Lima, a typical South American city with beautiful architecture and a lot of colors, even when there is no sun.